District of Barry Coon is now in session. Thank you, baby. Be seated. Okay, it's October 23rd, year 2015, approximately 11.05 a.m. We're at the uh, Newberry Central Court located at 3239 Little Street Road here in Newberry to reference to a bond hearing in reference to the state of South Carolina City in Newberry versus Larry Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez is charged with criminal warrant 20158362020362030. Kidnapping and arrest warrant 20158362020364, assault and battery by a mob third degree. Uh, the city of New Bay is represented by the solicitor's office, Dale Scott, and Chief Roy McClurkin. The defendant, Mr. Hernandez, speak English? No. Ms. Rivera, will you help yes. me in the translation? Yes. I need to go to school. Yes, please. Uh, what I'm going to do this morning is set your bond. Come, come up here. What I'm going to do this morning is set your bond on the charge of kidnapping and assault and battery by a mob. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, my understanding, he's represented by counsel, uh, by attorney R. Lopez, Anthony R. Lopez, and also John Delgado. That is correct, Your Honor. John Delgado. Pending a probate petition. Uh, any statements from the state before we proceed with the uh, hearing, Mr. Mr. Scott? No, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on the defense side? No, Your Honor. There are some conditions of your bond. Of course, you're not allowed to have any contact directly or indirectly with the victims. You must appear in court on your court date that I advise you of. And it is also ordered, a judge, and decreed uh, that the court's going to set your bond at $200,000 cash or surety. And just do a cash bond, sir. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the consent order was a cash bond. On the above reference warrant pursuant to section 1715.190 of the South Carolina Code of Laws, in addition, the defendant is prohibited from making any contact. With the victim, Jose Andre, or any member of Jose Andre's family. The defendant is also prohibited from any contact with the listed co-defendants regarding the above reference warrants issued by the Newberry Police Department. In addition, the defendant, which is yourself, may return to your residence located 20515 East Covina Hills Road, Covina, Los Angeles County, California, 91724, in Los Angeles County, California, on the following conditions. Bi-weekly reporting to Los Angeles County Probation Agent. Or whatever. Bi I'm sorry, bi-weekly. Yes, ma'am. Or whatever entity in that county which oversees and monitors criminal defendants that have been conditionally released. Random drug screening by the local Los Angeles County Probation Agent. The defendant surrender his passport to the custody of the Newberry County Clerk of Court while these charges are pending. 
and defendant shall appear before the Newberry County Clerk of uh, excuse me, Newberry County of General Sessions. And our counsel for defendant has been duly summoned upon sufficient notice by the eighth solicitor, circuit solicitor and a South Carolina Circuit Court Judge. Fail, failure to appear for the call of court will result in a bench warrant issue for the arrest of the defendant, which is you. All other standard conditions imposed resort to section 17-15-20 of the South Carolina Code of Laws or incorporated herein by the reference. The Magistrate's Municipal Judge's Office will prepare the appropriate documents. Do you understand what I've explained to you so far? Yes. Okay. What I need you to do I need your initial and date there while I've highlighted. And this is the conditions I read. If you understand, I need your initial and date there. This is a copy for your records, initial and date, and keep it. Uh, 